Hi everyone. So today in this session, we will discuss the metallurgy of stainless steel. So that means the various salient features of the metallurgical points of stainless steel. Now, let me discuss the various points of this stainless steel and the chemical compositions and the various metallurgical points related to stainless steel. So let me discuss in detail. So exactly, first of all, before going to understand the metallurgical points of this stainless steel, what is exactly the stainless steel here? The stainless steel means, uh, first observe the sentences here, the stainless steel is a group of iron-based alloys that contain a minimum approximately 11% chromium, that is a composition that prevents the iron from rusting. See why this percentage is added, that is why it is free from rusting, that is free from rust. 11% chromium is added and as well as providing heat resistance properties. So that means these are the properties free from rust and heat resistant properties. So that's why this particular stainless steel is utilized in those applications at which rust, it must be rust free and the heat resistance and different types of steels are available that is especially stainless steels are available which includes the elements of the carbon and the percentage if you want to see 0.03 percent to greater than one percent so this is the range of stainless steel and the elements are nitrogen that is along with the carbon nitrogen aluminium silicon sulfur titanium nickel copper selenium niobium and molybdenum. So these are the various materials which are available along with the carbon in stainless steel. And if you observe here, the specific types of stainless steel are often designated by three digit number. How it is designated? That is 304 stainless steel. So here it is designated as 304. And this stainless steel, whatever we are discussing, so this is having and this resistance to ferric oxide formation results from the presence of the chromium in the alloy. That means chromium plays a vital role. That is 11% of the chromium is uh, present in this stainless steel, which forms a passive, that is a passive film that protects the underlying material from corrosion attack. So that means which plays a vital role in resisting the corrosion. That means the chromium plays a vital role in resisting the corrosion attack and can self-heal in the presence of oxygen. So this is the main property of the stainless steel and the corrosion resistance. Here we are saying that it will resist the corrosion, how it can be increased further. See, the corrosion resistance can be increased further. First of all, the chromium content to levels above 11%. So that means the percentage of the chromium has to be increased so that it will resist the corrosion and the addition of 8% of higher amounts of the nickel. So that is another important parameters with which the properties are changed. Addition of 8% or higher amounts of the nickel is added here. And molybdenum is also added. That is the addition of molybdenum, which also improves. So that means by adding the molyb molybdenum, we can say that it resistance to pitting corrosion. So this will be avoided if you add the molybdenum. These are the corrosion resistance uh, methodologies. And if you see the addition of nitrogen, suppose if you add the nitrogen, it improves the resistance to pitting corrosion and increases the mechanical strength. So this is the property that will change by adding the nitrogen. Thus, there are numerous grades, so many grades, not only a single grade by adding nitrogen, by adding vanadium, by adding chromium, we are getting by adding molybdenum, we are getting the different grades of the stainless steel with which we are getting the different properties of the same material. So here, that means suppose if you vary the chromium, we get the different material by varying the molybdenum. That means uh, it has to contain to suit the environment and the alloy. That means whatever the alloy that you are utilizing, so it has to it has to accept these percentages, that is chromium percentage or molybdenum percentages. And 
resistance to corrosion and staining that means low maintenance and familiar luster make stainless steel an ideal material for many applications so that's why we are replacing stainless steel for so many number of applications where both strength of steel and corrosion resistance are required the two properties attracted towards the utilization of the stainless steel and here if you observe the more salient features moreover the stainless steel can be rolled into sheets plates bars vials and tubing so that means forming can be done easily on these materials this is another parameters why we are utilizing stainless steel for vast applications and these can be used in cookware not only in one particular area here poultry and surgical instrument major appliances construction materials in log building industrial equipment like uh, paper mill industry and chemical plant industry and water treatment industry and uh, storage tanks and tankers for chemical and food products not only in a single area almost in all areas we are replacing uh, stainless steel because of its uh, nature and because of its uh, chemical composition and because of its uh, property and the material corrosion resistance the ease with which it can be steam cleaned and sterilized and the absence of the need for surface coatings have prompted that means uh, no separate surface coating is required for this stainless steel so that's why it is prompted the use of stainless steel in kitchens especially in kitchens we require the corrosion resistance and uh, cleaned surface coating is not required for this suppose if you utilize a uh, stainless steel and uh, food processing plants also we are replacing stainless steel material if you observe the properties see if you observe the various properties which are appeared here the, it is having electrical resistivity so even though it is a general property but each and every material must have the electrical resistivity that means the surface and bulk resistance is higher than the plain carbon steel and coefficient of thermal expansion that is a whenever it gives or it is having some temperature automatically it has to expand so there is a coefficient of thermal expansion it must exhibit the highest strength even at room temperature and elevated temperature that means in both the cases it has to maintain the highest strength at thermal conductivity so almost 40 to 50% uh, that of plain carbon steel and what is the melting temperature suppose if you see the plain carbon stainless steel almost this is the temperature that is 1480 to 5 1540 degrees centigrade martensitic 1400 to 1530 ferritic 1400 to 1530 austenitic 1370 to 1450 so these are the various degrees centigrade uh, of melting temperature for the stainless steel and it is also having surface preparation that means surface whatever the surface that we are going to get it will be a fine surface that means surface finish is very good compared to other any other steels here that means surface uh, films must be removed prior to the welding and a spot facing here if you observe the spot facing application there is a property less shunting is observed than plain carbon steel so this is uh, the disadvantage and these are the general properties of stainless steel sir i hope you have understood the various properties of the stainless steel we will discuss some other technological points in another session so thank you thank you varunal